Well, hello, travelers. Todd and Michelle here. We're traveling around Disney. And as you can see, or maybe you might be able to tell, we have oh, made our way onto the Disney Wish. It is an absolutely gorgeous ship, and we are here for Halloween on the high seas. It is a four-night, five-day cruise. We have pirate night tonight, as you can see Mickey back there. But it is an absolute gorgeous cruise, and now I'm on this side. So come along, and let's see what the Wish has to offer us. Well, hello travelers and welcome to our Disney Wish Cruise Adventure. We are so excited to bring to you all the wonderful things that we did while on board the Disney Wish. Now, as most of you know, we live here in Orlando, right behind the Magic Kingdom. So we drive to Port Canaveral, which is home to the Disney Wish ship. It's a 30 minute short drive. We've had no problems parking in the designated Disney parking garage. And there are many staff members located at the luggage drop-off and at the entrance of the garage to help point you to your direction. We've had no problems both times we've used Disney's garage. And here we are walking across the gangplank. You enter on level three and then you, it's a short escalator ride down to the main check-in. We did forget we were silver members now, but it didn't matter. The line moves really fast. Here is the port uh, terminal, well marked. You just kind of follow the crowds everybody knows sort of where to go so it's really very low stress this is the entrance to the ship and this is where they check your boarding uh, group number and your pass and give you your um, room key and no that isn't Mike and Beck but it looks like it doesn't it we really miss them on this trip and can't wait to go on the next one Disney Wish, please welcome aboard Todd and Michelle yay we are aboard the Wish and just like that, we are in the atrium or the grand hall of the ship. It is decorated. This is a Halloween cruise. So they did have the Halloween uh, pumpkin tree. And we did catch the beginning of the welcome show. It plays every 15 minutes, I believe. So let's talk about the ship layout. Okay, so let's see if we can explain this ship a little bit better. This is actually the ship on the TV. And I've actually located our room. We are right, let's see. Our room is right there. So as you can see, we are pretty much midship. A little bit, but we are right below the deck. We are on deck 10, right there. All the food is back this way for the ship more rooms and activities this way on this ship on the wish they do have a walkway that you can get right out to this post and we've got pictures of that so this is the Disney wish and I was trying to figure out where our, our room was and that is approximately where our room is is right there because we're right before right after that bump out right underneath we got an extended um we got a veranda but the roof of our veranda is extended out oh there goes Dumbo <laughs> so we're right underneath the 11th deck and this is all the 11th deck where the pool and all that is uh, the quick serves and all that kind of stuff and then back here is where Arendelle is that we ate at last night but that is the layout of the ship oh the aqua mouse up here which uh, we might ride that, I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm gonna ride that or not. But that is the Disney Wish, and I'm so glad I found out where we were staying. I was like, okay, I'm gonna figure this out. And then you can watch TV. They do not have Disney Plus on here. I was disappointed, no Disney Plus, so we could not watch um, Hocus Pocus 2, so. But that's it, she is a beauty. There were 15 total decks on board the Disney Wish. Deck one was the Tender Lobby and Health Center, and that's where you got on and off the ship at ports. Deck two was the Marvel Superhero Academy and the um, Oceaneer Club, which was for kids mainly, and also had the, the Handicapped or Physically Challenged entry for the Walt Disney Theater 
um, which is where the Broadway type shows were performed. Deck three is where you entered the ship and that included the Grand Hall area, which it also had the Star Wars hyperspace lounge um, on this level, which we actually almost walked right by. It's pretty much tucked in there. So here's our little walkthrough. So we have made our way into the hyperspace lounge. This is pretty well the size. It is too small. Um, the screen, it's kind of cool looking. Ships floating by. Thought it would be a little more Star Wars thing, but it is kind of cool. But there are no reservations required anymore. It's just first come, first serve. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> that's worth the walk in. With 1923 in the back of the lobby, um, and it is divided into the Walt Disney and the Roy Disney side, but they're identical in decor and the food that served. Um, deck three is also where the Walt Disney Theater main access floor is for, of course, of course all the Broadway shows. And there's the infamous slide into the kids play area. Remember once down there that is all for that's the children's zone. You can see it on the first day of cruising but after that it's all for the kids and the parents picking up their children. But this is right off of the third floor lobby. Deck 4 contains the guest services area. This is a change from the Disney Dream as it's normally on deck 3 but on the Wish it's now on 4 and that's also where the Port Adventures desk is so if you have any changes that need to be made to, re to your reservation this is where you need to go. The balcony seating for Walt Disney Theater entry is also on this level. This is home to the Wonderland Cinema and the Neverland Cinema which are two theaters that are similar, um, well actually identical, just on opposite sides of the ship. They have a rotating schedule throughout the day where they show Disney movies and Disney Channel, Disney Channel shows. Also on deck four is the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. Packages range from $450 to $99. Fairy Godmother inspired stylists turn your child into an elegant princess, a valiant knight, or an adventurous sea captain. So deck five is home to Census Spa and we did get a chance to check out the exercise room and it's gorgeous almost makes me want to exercise. Arendelle, a frozen dining adventure signature dining location um, is on this deck. On the fifth level they do have a DVC vacation club so they go in there and tell you all about it and usually when you come on a cruise it's a little cheaper sometimes to buy your points but it is right off of the Enchanted Cafe but it is right here. Well, this is neat. They got a portrait studio and a gallery so you can take your pictures and then you can also view all your pictures that you've taken during the cruise. Okay, if Michelle wouldn't have told me what this is, I would have never guessed that this is a teen club. Yes, it's a New York City inspired teen hangout for ages 11 to 14. And it is literally a door just on the wall. So there's a lot of hidden little things that I love about this ship. And even look at the door you might see a friend or two there so to get your disney cruise disney wish merchandise you will come to mickey's main sale which is on the fifth level but it is a great store we are in port right now so of course it's closed it will reopen tonight and i bet you this will be a busy spot but it's a nice big store and just remember everything says you'll see a lot of inaugural any sailing during the first year of a ship is an inaugural sailing so they should have this all the way through okay look at that back there haven't got to see this yet but it's a little ship with characters oh man they got some great stuff you'd literally could spend a day going to look at all the carpets and seeing the inlays and what's in them of course this is Peter Pan so of course you look up and what do you see Peter Pan art on the wall I mean the detail this ship has is unbelievable yet another Peter Pan so a hidden spot on Disney wish is the bow they do have the ability on this ship to get all the way to the front of the ship and underneath the flag when you look down you will see water it's a gorgeous view a great place to bid Port Canaveral farewell for a short time another tip 
if you want to be on TV, inside the rooms, they show a bridge view, which looks directly out the front of the ship. If you were to come out on this ship and stand under the flag and turn backwards facing the ship, you could actually wave and also be on TV inside the room. We were going to try to set up a recorder and it just time slipped by us, but that would have been a great shot. So I'm giving you guys that tip. We're also looking down here on Census Spa because it does have the opening for the sun to get through. And here's the flag. It was so windy. The bells were ringing. It was very loud. So I couldn't give you any of the audio here. So um, it was a great place to stand and watch as the ship sailed out of port. Okay, so decks six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 are all stateroom levels, so we don't even have to worry about that. You only have to worry about whatever floor you are staying on. The only thing I'd really like to call attention to is on deck eight, there's a fairy tale fresh laundry. This laundry room is huge, and you have access to many washers and dryers, ironing boards, irons, so you don't really need to worry about bringing that type of appliance onto the ship because there's plenty for you to use. It wasn't crowded, there was only a few people utilizing the services, and you use your room key, which makes it pretty convenient. And they do sell the detergents and fabric softeners there at the facility. So while we're on deck 10, we will go ahead and do a room tour. We were in a category 5b which is a deluxe ocean view stateroom with veranda it was 203 square feet and could accommodate four people it did have a split bath with a shower and tub and a vanity sink in one bathroom and then a toilet and sink in the other deck 11 and 12 are considered the pool decks they do have the quick service locations and also Marceline Market is located here, along with Inside Out Joyful Sweets. Deck 12 also houses the Rose Lounge at the opening of Palo Steakhouse. It also hosts Ashante, one of the newest restaurants to open and exclusive to the Disney Wish. And the centerpiece is supposed to represent champagne bubbles. Much different than Palo, a very light, airy um, interior. We didn't make reservations here tonight, but we did make reservations to Palo. So we're gonna show you that in detail later on in the videos. So this is the kids splash zone and luckily there's no kids because it is pirate night and they're all out partying. But it is cute. Look at Zerg. Very nice play zone. And it's a little open, a little more open and it's out in the air. It's not underneath. These are so cute. And that little slide right there. Okay, so deck 13 in the back of the ship is where you'll find the adult area. So this picture is coming right outside the door from the inside by the elevators. You have to turn right and walk down this long deck corridor, which is not covered. So if it's raining, you're going to get wet. It goes all the way to the end of the ship and it wraps around. There's a cove bar and what you just saw was the cove adult area. If you keep going, it starts to go up the other side of the ship and to your right is a little door into a cove lounge. So in regards to the elevator, these are the elevators. Just look up here, it'll tell you what deck it'll take you to. So this goes to 1 to 11 
and this goes all the way up to 12. Tells you on the map, it's really easy. Oh, so you gotta go up, get off, and get off. Right, the and this one goes to 13. So just make sure you get on the right elevator. Everybody was complaining about that, but it's really simple. I don't understand what the problem was. But there are only two elevator bays, but there are more elevators on this ship than the other ship. So, kind of, this is kind of designed like the Royal Caribbean elevators, because Royal does the same thing. Okay, guys, we just came out of Seize the Adventure, the first show on the Disney Wish we have seen, and I do not know how they can top that show. That was absolutely fantastic. It even had Michelle tearing up in there. It was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. The talent they have here on the show. Yeah. I thought it was good in the parks. It is unbelievable. Got our little Jack Skellington. Since it's a Halloween crew, popcorn bucket. You're like a little kid. I know. Oh, and our other hall. My little sipper cup. Sipper cup. So. We're now on our way to Arendelle, but I'm telling you, that was unbelievable. Unbelievable. And we got several more shows to go. I think there's two more shows for us to see. I'm just like speechless. I know. I, I, it's hard to put in words. And this is the first day. Yeah, and you won't be able to see it unless you come on the Disney Wish. They don't allow recording or anything like that, so I guess you're going to have to book a trip back into the Walt Disney Theater and tonight is take a guess that's right a little mermaid so we cannot wait to watch this one and we, we don't have the seasickness seat so this yeah. is better already they show what they mean cuz it's really up high like it's up high but they're very slanted they're like this stadium stadium so but that these are great seats over here like a basketball yeah thing. makes my knees weak <laughs> It's a gorgeous theater though, 100%. And of course we have the man himself dressed in his pirate calls tonight is pirate night. Arr. Thanks, Mickey. Appreciate it. <laughs> so we are here for Aladdin, the last Broadway show here on um, the Disney Wish and our last night. So, love the lighting in here. I will have to say, this has been a very tiring cruise. I am so tired. I'm going to go home and rest. I cannot wait off this weekend. <laughs> and it has been a working. We have filmed and filmed and filmed. And hopefully it's good enough. So, we'll see when we get home. But... Oh, I think it's good. I think it's good. But we'll let you know when our next cruise is coming up. A little ahead of time. Maybe we can have an unofficial. All right, I'm cutting him off. Cutting me off. Showtime. So we just finished up the Walk the Wish tour, which is a free tour. It's an hour tour of the making of the Wish and really what went into the theming and all that of the Wish which when you start to really think about it, there's so much to discover on this ship. It's unbelievable. I can't wait to do it on the dream, but we just finished it up. And if you ever do chance, if you ever do get a chance to take any of these tours, make sure you take them because like we always say in our videos, and you, we've always told you, it's all in the details. And there are so many details in this, it is unbelievable. So if you're aboard the Wish, make sure you take the tour.
We have this to greet us. If somebody could tell us what that is. Is it a walrus? Is it a scary monster? What is that? Okay, so for tonight's towel animal, it's not an animal. It's a pumpkin because it's the Halloween night. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Ooh. Ooh, David George. Okay, in our final night, we have the Moana headboard. We have come back into the room, and this is our towel animal for tonight. It's a crab. And this is our final sail. We are sailing into Port Canaveral out of our veranda here. Absolutely gorgeous. Been perfect weather all four days. So could not ask for anything more. And that is where we're heading to towards the west, Port Canaveral. Good morning, travelers. Todd and Michelle here. We're traveling around Disney, and we hope you have enjoyed our first of many videos of the Disney Wish. We will have Marceline Market videos coming out. We'll have rotational dining, the quick serve, and we have just had a fantastic time. Of Oh, Apollo. Oh, I forgot yeah, about Paula. Oh my gosh. So come along with us. Thank you. And if you like our content, thanks for liking and subscribing. And until next time, travelers, like we always say, travel and adventure is out there.